Hi. Hi, <laughs> friends. I was just thinking about Randy's working out front on the tractor. He's taking the snow blade off and putting the mower on. And so we're going to hear that ring alarm go off a thousand times. Well, I just thought of it. Too late. I already pushed go. So here we go. We're going anyway. So we're all going to hear that little chimey chime chime every five minutes, I'm afraid. I've been listening to it all morning. <laughs> Bless his heart. Bless his heart. Guess what he did for me? Hi, you guys. Oh, my hair's sticking up funny. There we go. Uh, <laughs> he fixed my lazy Susan. So, see? It worked. He not only cut me a piece, but he stained it. And he sanded it all down. Then he mounted the two pieces together. And we got it working. So now, hi, hi, Diana. So now when I have something that I want to slow-mo and show, like on TikTok, I'll be able to do this. Now we got to figure out how to make it, like I can't spin it fast there. And so when I record it, it'll go in slow motion. I was told to do that. If it doesn't work, I'm going to, I actually, I have one of my followers, her, her maiden name, I think, is Renner. And so, yeah, I said, well, if I if it doesn't work I, and I can't keep it, I'll have to take it all apart and sell it to her because the, how cool is that? But And I have to tell you, are we like best friends or what? There's no rhyme or reason to my coming on here. <laughs> you all, I'm all these ideas, all these thinkings. Um, I'm so excited, first of all, that so many of you got a necklace. I'm so I, I wish I could be a little fly in every single one of your packages when they come and you'll be like, holy cow, it's even better in person. I can't wait for you to tell me what you think. I can't wait to hear from you. It's like, no, no doubt. I wish I could be there with you. So anyway, but yeah, so, so back to this now. Try to be me for a day. Woo. Uh, back to this. Randy's not sure it's old. I think he's a nutball because I think it's old. But how do you really know? How do you really know? He thinks that the inside is too good. Which you can barely see now. See that? It's questionable. When he says that, I don't know. But the outside sure looks old. I think it's old and weathered and I think it's just been in its barrel so it's been protected forever until someone decided to take it out of its barrel but again that's how they get you with those reproduction things um, I totally th I never even questioned its age he is a hundred percent convinced it's not old uh, there's that um, he absolutely loved the scissors his favorite thing that I bought I think was the scissors he loved the paint can he wanted to try and twist the wire and make it a little more um, secure because it's a little loose, but he was worried about breaking the wire and he said, if I do that, then I've ruined it. So he left it alone, but he really liked the paint can and I told him the truth how much I paid for it, didn't I? <laughs> I told him the truth and he said, well, that's probably the right, about the right. You didn't overpay for sure. So he thought that was about right. Um, I didn't really told him about the marbles. He's not into the marbles, so nothing on the marbles. What else did I get? He loved something else that I got. I don't know. This was this was a big topic of conversation. Oh, 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 and he loved my little fish hooks. Isn't that funny? He thought that he saw the look, he saw what I saw, you know, in them. Um, so that was funny thing. He, he said, Yeah, I would, I would have got those too. But the other thing that he really likes is this little dog. And I forgot to show you guys my dog. I came home, you know I have my little pottery dog that my mother loves, and I love it too, and she's always trying to snag it from me. But I have this little tiny dog. It's all handmade pottery. Um, look, they even like did a twisty tail. I bought this <laughs> several years ago. I don't even remember where or when, but somebody made this out of clay, and I thought it is so, so awesome, and I loved my little dog. So he's my only little dog I've ever had. Well, oh, oh, I know what else he liked, that scale. See, there I go again, off another end. So the scale that um, with the brass face on it, the the for the furrier scale. Okay, so I have, um, where's, where's my dog? What did I do with my dog? Oh, here he is. Okay, I'm gonna hang on to this, I'm gonna show him to you in a second. So the furrier scale, he said, I said it worked, 
it worked. I know I pulled on it and it worked and now it's not working. So he was looking at it and he thinks it was to hang large game like a deer. He, when he really slowly pulled, the scale went up and it worked. So I was being too careful with it, but it was for a heavy, like an animal that not just like the fur, like the pelt or whatever. I think it was for the animal itself, which is totally, absolutely disgusting. And I cannot even believe that I like the thing, but it had a look and, and I love the brass on the initial one that I bought that doesn't work. Um, and I told him I was going to try to clean it up and he said, please don't clean it up. He doesn't want me to clean it up. So <laughs> to know us is to know I might just take just maybe just the edge <laughs> try to shine it just to get a little bit of brass without making him mad. <laughs> so he's not here right now. So anyway, we'll see about that. But I'm like, well, I don't even want the darn thing if I can't have the brass. But he, uh, deer makes you say, I know, it's just the yucky part of that. I know, I know. I am going to sell the other one for sure. Um, the brass one. He doesn't want me to keep the original brass one that I had bought that I've loved forever. Not forever, but what, two months, <laughs> three months that I've had it. Um, can you believe I found two in that such a short time? And I've never all these years ever, and I love scales, so I would have seen, I mean, it's not that I overlooked it. I would have seen it because I love scales. Anyway, so back to telling you that the scale, the second one that I got absolutely works and he loved it and doesn't want me to touch it. So you know, I'm, I'm, I'm cranking him around by way of thinking. He actually said it might be fun to go to an auction sometime. So that's huge, you girls. That's like getting him to paint this kitchen in way less years. Because <laughs> it took years to let him, let me paint this kitchen white. And <laughs> I can tell you to get him to want to go to an auction with me, I would think would be huge. But yeah. But no, he doesn't want me to, he says, that's the problem. Everybody changes antiques and makes, then they're not worth anything. So I kind of watch him because I really want to clean it. Oh, and two, we sat down last night while we were looking at everything. And you know, his chopper that he loves, those of you that follow me know exactly what I'm talking about, that crank. And then I put the fern in it. Well, he adamantly wants the fern out of there. I put it up on my hearth. I'm not sure you guys can see it, but I took, remember, because I was showing you how, I was showing you something, why I was down there, I don't remember. And then I said, oh, it's dirty. And so I cleaned out underneath there when I was cleaning a couple of days ago. Anyway, what? I need a best friend. <laughs> That's what I need. I need someone to talk and listen to all this crap that I got to say because I like to talk. It's a curse. Anyway, anyway, so I pulled it out and I put it up on the hearth because I didn't have anything there at the moment. And I thought, oh, he'll like to see that out again. Well, instead, he said, you got to get the fern out of there. And it almost got ugly. I defended the fern big time because that chopper is just kind of, I don't know. It's not, it, I like it, but it's not. I mean, I get it, but it needs a fern. <laughs> so, let's just say there's still a fern in there this morning. <laughs> we'll see how long it lasts. <laughs> so I told him if he doesn't be quiet, I'm going to put it back under the TV stand. <laughs> so <laughs> it's all in fun. Please know it's all in fun. We all have a husband, right? We all have that the things. So okay, let me show you the dog, and then we're gonna after a half hour, I'm gonna show you what I got on here for in the first place. So I walked in as I was unpacking things, I unpacked this little dog and of course I immediately took him over there to put him with my little one I just showed you. Here he is. While I was waiting for the girl to unlock the booth to get my scale out, I saw this little dog and I loved it. And when she handed it to me, my I was like, boom, my hand dropped. It is heavy. And so I did the same thing to Randy last night. I'm holding up this little dog and I'm like, what do you think of this? And I handed it to dropped it as lot. It's so heavy. It's unexpectedly heavy. He's pretty sure that it's lead and that it's got some chippy paint on it. And he is absolutely adorable. But yeah, he thinks it's really old and he loved the little dog. Isn't that funny? You just never know. But he liked the dog just fine. And even though they don't really go, I mean, the coloring's the same, but they're two different kinds of dogs. But yeah, you know me, I will, I don't, not a lot of you guys have been along that long, but my little Lola died three years ago this Father's Day, the day after Father's Day. Oh gosh, that's probably why I weigh so much, because it's my baby. 
and I'm just here all over. I miss all my babies. Summer's in Arizona, and Abby's in California, and Lola's back in the backyard buried, and here I sit. And he's out of town all the time, so I, every time he, every birthday that rolls around, every Mother's Day, every Christmas, what do you want? I want a puppy. <laughs> <I'm back. laughs> so I just buy these kind of dogs now. Um, yeah. So there you go. I got I got me a dog, and I love it. So there's all that. I'm gonna wear him down on a dog too. All you husbands watching, just know this is how we operate. We just, we're relentless until you give in. That's why I try. If you just give in and we've been done with it, we've, hell, we've been two years in and been about done. Instead, you're dragging it out. I'm gonna be 90 and still dealing with this dog that we're gonna get. I need to get it and get on the road, right? Right? So, okay, here we go. I tried to get a link for you guys. Um, I see lots of comments, but you can tell my mind. I'm so, huh, that I, I'm not even, I'm not going to look at your comments because we're going to be on here an extra two hours. So let's just not do that. I'll answer you, I promise. And remember, I can only answer 100 and then they shut me off for a day. So I'll get to you. Um, this product is called Zinzer Bullseye Shellac. And I like the amber, Okay. For, as a painter, I paint houses uh, for my job. I do have a job. Uh, and whenever we run into something that is bleeding, um, we'll use shellac to seal it so that it won't keep wicking through, if that makes sense. Um, so um, anyway, the shellac though is good for wood. So um, here we go. I may not do everything that I have here, but, uh, oh yeah, I'm good. I'm, I've only got about, I don't know, what do I got left? A half a gap, a half quart, it's just a quart. I have about a half a quart of it left. It lasts forever. It lasts forever. I mean, I just do little projects like this, so no wonder. So, it is a shellac base, so you, you're probably just gonna wanna just throw your brush away, so I'm using an old, old uh, chip brush. But whatever, I think, oh, you'll have to read on the back. I think you clean it with ammonia, if I'm not mistaken. I always throw it away, so I don't know. Uh, okay, so the first thing up, I have this little bottle topper. Um, you know, I have a couple more bottles to do, and I'm probably going to do those with you guys sometime. Um, I keep, everyone keeps messaging me about things they want, and they want me to make so I'm running out of time. So here's what it looks like before I do anything to it. I want to see it too. Oh, you're not going to be able to tell until it's dry. I betcha. Let me get some on here. I want to be... <laughs> so exciting, like a drum roll. All right. So let me get some on here. I don't wipe it off. I don't do anything. I just paint it on and let it soak in, do its thing, let it dry. There's the difference. So when it dries, it'll dry down, but it'll have that golden sort of look to it. See the difference? I'm not sure you guys can tell yet, but see, it just riched it right up. See right here how it just looks so much richer? Um, oh, I see Marlene just got my package. Well, that's good. Did you like it, Marlene? I remember boxing you up something, but I don't remember what it was. And now, if it's not, if it doesn't have a shine um, that you like, you can always seal over, but I usually just go with what I get here on this. I don't put that much trouble into it all. So I'm not gonna be able to go all the way to the bottom, but I'm not gonna have to because of the bottle. It'll be all be hidden. But anyway, that just totally took it from an unfinished, dried out, yucky piece of wood to a nice, much much richer much prettier definitely good get the top two here okay alrighty so let's move on to this spool let's see what it does it's not going to do as much of a change to any well let's do this I'm sure you're all kind of baby breath let's see if this does anything to this thing um it just feels really thirsty to me. So I think I wanna do this to 
how to seal it, I guess. But there was no doubt in my mind that I wanted to do it to this piece. I just needed it to have a little bit more life. And I think this is just going to be the ticket. See the difference? Now, it'll dry down duller than that. But I think, yeah, see how good? I just think that's good. Now, all of you vintage, uh, what do they call it? It starts with P. Primitive people are going to like it like that. But I'm changing it because it, this is going to be a display for me. We're going to use it. Um, Randy put it as a Lazy Susan to um, showcase some of the things that I make uh, in slow motion spins for TikToks. So we'll see. Are you watching me over there? I've been doing a lot the last couple of days, but, but anyway, yeah, hope you are. Okay, so there, I think that's better. I think that's better, right? Okay, so let's keep going. I'm gonna keep going. Oh, let's do the shoe. Um, I'm gonna do the shoe. And then when I'm all done here, oh, I want to do the bucket. We want to see the bucket, right? Okay, we want to see the bucket because I think it's going to be good on the bucket. All right, let's see what this stuff will do for my little baby shoe here. Because again, I don't typically use this stuff, but I feel like I got a lot of things that just needed a little bit more lovings. Just a little bit. All right, let's see here. How can I hold on to you? There's a metal bottom. He's got like a little metal bottom there. So I Hold on to that. Around here. It's just so good. It's just so good. It just looks richer to me. It just looks better. It just looks better. So, now the spool. Hmm. I was kind of torn on it too. It's just a little rough. And I didn't. I told you guys I was going to wash it with Dawn dish soap and all that. I didn't do it. I just kind of wiped it down with a wet tag you can sit your little dogs on it and take yes Jackie I'll get, take, get, let them take a little spin a little slow-mo spin yeah so right so I'm, I'm showing him what I want to do after he made it you know he's all proudy proud and I, <laughs> I'm showing him what I want to do and I'm like spinning my bottle but I'm trying to do it slow but I knew I had the slow motion feature on my camera and he's like we're gonna have to put a hook with the string and try to figure out how you can pull that slower. You gotta pull that slow. He said, there's a feature on my phone. <laughs> wow, I showed him, he's like, oh wow, that's real cool. <laughs> oh, poor Randy, he's never gonna come on here, you guys. I talk about him so much, <laughs> good and bad, right? Good and bad. We have our days, we all have our days. <laughs> I think I like the little bit of shine is why I want to do that. It'll dull down. It'll dull down and be just a nice shine. It really didn't need the darkness as much as just a little bit of life. It just needed a little bit of life for me, for me. And my, you know, I'm not, I'm not super primitive compared, you know, compared to a lot of people. I'm like antique city, but real antique people are like, that's not antique. I'm kind of a, a rare breed. I'm in the middle of, uh, I don't know what I am. Um, cause I kind of alter things, but yet I want to keep it original. Like I'm just a weirdo and I know it. <laughs> Are you all here just so you feel more normal? <laughs> I don't know why you're all here, but I sure am glad you are. <laughs> we can be crazy together. Okay. Yeah. It's just a little darker. Um, and I'm just going right over that wire because I'm going to put lace on this and make it really pretty. See? Uh-huh. See? I told you. I never leave nothing alone. Okay. So, there is the spool. I think you're going to like these things. When they're dry, um, I'll come on for some other reason. We'll do something else and then I'll show you all these things. Uh, okay. Then I have this little spool. Price tags on all this stuff. Now I'm gonna have to re remember what went with what. Should have wrote what they were for. 
soaking in nice though that I'm really gonna like that lid um, a little clean a little shinier looking and bucket I'm gonna feel the same way about this bucket oh who are you who of you is cringing over the bucket anybody that I'm gonna do this to the bucket anybody yes I am oh that went really dark still gonna be better with some color or not color but some shine I mean it's gonna be way better This fun watch someone just put clear stuff on Jesus Lord. all right let's do that bucket and then you don't need to watch me do all these other spools but oh it's so it's better shiny it's just better there's no no two ways about it it's better um I'm, I do want to do the spools let's I'm gonna do one and then I'm gonna show you one beside of it and show you the difference see if it popped the words more I thought maybe it would make the words show up better of course it's still wet too um, can you see the difference see the difference it's just a little richer looking maybe if you can tell and um, I do think the words show up better so I'm gonna work on the spools but we'll do that later next up let's do this bucket You ever sell any spools? Yes, I always sell them. Yes, the spools and the shoes. I always sell the shoes. Yep, because I, you know, I only need so many of these things, and then I just, I kind of buy them for you guys because, I, I still want to shop and find beautiful things. So okay, here comes the bucket. I hate messing with this because I know what lead paint. But. Okay, so here we go. I've had some dealers say, oh no, don't ruin it, don't do that, but I love it. I'm gonna go around the tag, I'm not sure. He's the guy that introduced me to this stuff. He always goes over the tags and stuff too, and it does brighten them. Should I? Oh yeah, I'm going over the tag. Oh yeah, it definitely brightened it, I, I see. I see, I see. Okay, oh my gosh, this is so much richer looking. It's like it's just been sitting in someone's barn for years and years and years and someone's just discovered it and it's just tired and thirsty. <laughs> it's tired and thirsty. So let's, let me just show you the difference that this shellac makes. Look, see that bucket now? Here's what it looked like before. See the difference? It's just like not even the same piece. See that? That's why I like this product. So, if that did, that's the best, I saved the best for last, didn't I? Um, yeah, I really, oh, I really like it. I really think it helped it a lot. And you could do a clear shellac if you wanted. I just kind of like that amber uh, stain like if your house is full of grays you probably don't want to do the amber so much I don't know I don't know we put gray hold together all the time I don't know I don't have a gray house so I, I don't know I paint a lot of gray houses though everybody else has a gray house but me it's never I like it for other people. I just don't like it for my stuff. My stuff's better with gold. Not taupe, not a pinky. Like a beigey. Beige. Probably my old age. <laughs> I'm stubborn, remember? I'm stubborn. even look like the same bucket and it didn't change if anything it helped the label the yellowing was already the label already had some yellowing to it but dang right it really looks good um you know you could do hemp oil you could do dark wax absolutely um 
this is just easier to me. It's just easier to brush this stuff on. And um, waxing soaks in. So every few, every maybe six months, if you notice with furniture, you kind of have to re shellac, or not re shellac, re wax. And I just don't want to put that much work into it, honestly. Um, and I like the amber quality of this. Um, so again, it's personal preference. Um, let's see, personal preference for sure. So there, that's the end of that with you guys. So I have one more thing I want to show you. <laughs> so after the, after the mailman ran, picked up all of your packages from, from um, yesterday, um, he delivered that optical lens case, right? So I came on and showed you that. So then just a little bit ago, well, of course, my husband's working in the driveway. Who shows up? Amazon Prime. So, so Amazon Prime brought me a couple hats. So I want to show you these hats because we talked about hats last night, right? When I showed you the hats that I bought. These are just pretty stinking good. So I'm going to get this shellac out of the way. Um, yeah, I think these are good. So this one, I think they were both here they were both like 20 bucks a piece let me see here let me see i'm thinking gardening i'm thinking antique shopping yard sailing you know being outside weeding all of that stuff uh 20.69 for this khaki one and 18.99 for this woven one okay so 20 bucks so let me know if anybody wants a link okay <clears throat> So funny this is like lightweight raincoat material right like lightweight raincoat material my spot um, <clears throat> waterproof shields the skin from harmful UV rays permanent UV protection 100% it's got a hole here for your ponytail which I love because I'll definitely have a ponytail and then it's got the ties and it's the one with the flap in the back. Now I am a little just, I thought the flap would be more flappy, like a little bigger and it's not. Um, it had a, uh, what did I see about, did this one have a tightening string? I thought this one had a tightening string. Maybe it was the other one. I don't know. Anyway. Okay. Here we go. Let's stick this hat on. Okay. So it's cute. It's really cute. It's got, like that other one that I bought at Amish Country, it's not as nice, but it's got the tie thing if I need it or I can hang on to it. Um, <coughs> and it's got this, it's got this thing, but I can't figure out, how to, oh, I bet I know. I couldn't figure out how to make it work. I know now, what a ding dong. <laughs> I was gonna get it to work. So anyway, yeah, you could do that and keep it, keep it on in the wind or whatever. And then I don't know, I don't know if you use these for your, like, I don't know, would they go around your ponytail, make a bow, or can you just tie a bow in the back, or is it just to hang? I'm not exactly sure, but I really like this hat. It's lightweight, it's not going anywhere, and um, I really like this hat. So if anybody wants uh, the link for this one, I love it. Just FYI, I love it. It's definitely going antique shopping with me, for sure. Um, <laughs> it's fun. You know, remember I told you I was thinking big, like cover up my shoulders, my back was fried, the back of my neck, like I was fried, my ears, like I was just fried. It's, it's May, it's probably your first time you literally go outside to be outside. And so I put, I gotta, I gotta make room for this hat. <laughs> okay, so I put, um, you know, I put my sunscreen on in the morning and all that stuff. Well, this was, <laughs> this is a big one, and I found it on Amazon. I, I don't know. It's a little bit darker than the, than the one I bought yesterday. I never buy hats, you guys. I don't know what the heck. This is the one that, so you could tighten it. It's, it's nice. It's good quality. It's got the tightener to make it fit you. It's a one size fits all, and here it is. So tell me, that's not, that's like wearing an umbrella, right? That's like wearing an umbrella and you could, yeah, I need to break it in or whatever. I could pin this part up actually. Oh, that would be really cute, wouldn't it? Put a little, uh, ooh, a glass button, ding. That would be super cute. 
Anyway, um, I kind of like this one too. So, but it doesn't have, like, I've got to make sure I get this one to fit tight. But I really like it. I probably should have gotten black. It comes in lots of colors. But, um, yeah, I'm going to be sporting me some hats. But, you know, just for that. And um, I could probably, I could probably tell you without any lying that if they would have had this hat last year at Springfield, I would have probably given them a hundred bucks for it. <laughs> I really, I really, both Julie and I were so both. Like it was too hot to cover up, you know, to put anything on, but yet you really needed that shield. And I told her, I, at one point I said, I'm going to have to go to the car and get my umbrella. I got to do, I got to, we got to shop the buildings or something. We got to go to the mall. I was fried and with my skin cancer I can't do that so um anyway there you go I I just summer's been my daughter summer lives in Arizona she's been wearing hats like crazy um so I guess that kind of got me into thinking about hats more and um yeah she, she's always got a hat on some kind of hat it seems like so there you go mama duckling's gonna follow in the baby's path this time so, okay, you guys. So, any questions? Any co I'm seeing co I'm seeing people texting me things. So I don't outside of this. So I don't. That's why I keep looking up, see what's happening. So let me go back. I don't have anything else to do but work. Who wants to do that? So let's chat. So I'm all done. I don't have anything else for you other than I'm going to read your comments and questions now because I'm sure I'm not going to be able to get to them yet today because I know there's going to be more than 100 um, from the last video and the, what was left last night. So Tambra says he doesn't know. No, <laughs> poor Randy, right? And, and you know someone's telling him everything that I say and do on here. He never watches. Hi, Rose. Hi, Rose. Um, oh, thank you, Tambra, for sharing. That's awesome. Um, the, yeah, Tambra, the, the deer thing, I know, and I have friends that are all about it. Wow, this is really drying out nice. Look at that. It's drying out good. See how much richer? It's just not so dry. And this shoe is, oh my gosh, the shoe is just about dry. Look at it. Like, what a difference. There you go. That's what I was looking for. Oh, and this is dry. Yeah, it, do, it doesn't take long to dry at all. This is all dry. And look how good. Like, that's going to look great in the camera. And it might be a little too shiny. I might have to put a little uh, flatter, a little matte on there. Oh, it's so pretty. So freaking pretty. Yeah, I mean, it all looks good. The bucket, oh, the bucket's probably still wet. I just did it not too long ago, but I should check for drips around that wire. But yeah, it's looking great too. I'm going to do the bottom too. There was a number even on the bottom. Cool. All right, let's keep going. But yeah, I, it just it's just gross to think there were dead animals hanging on that thing, I guess, is more than anything. It's just the gross idea of dead animals and blood and all that. It's just yucky. Uh, I have to show you the eel traps. Oh, yeah, Marilyn, I'd love to see that. I don't, I don't know what that is. Um, oh, it is. It's so pretty, Jamie. He's That's why he's outside working. I think he just wanted to be outside. Brasso can let you go as far as you want, a little or a lot. Okay, Diane, I have Brasso. He just doesn't want me. I think whoever cleaned the other one used a Dremel or something, and it's kind of got a little bit of buffing marks to it. And that's why he, he it's, I didn't, I didn't even see him, but he's like, you see that? So um, I think that's what he's concerned about. And I think if I can just get a little bit on that, you know, the plates like this, if I can just shine up just this little edge, just to give it a little sparkle, that might be enough for me. Um, that will compromise. We'll call that a compromise. Yes. I, I definitely like living in a house with a happy husband. Um, thank you, Vani. Um, what did he say about the marbles? Not much, Tamara. He didn't really ask anything. I kind of skimmed over him because, you know, that's kind of a little investment for me and it's my little thing. And so he didn't, I, you know, I said I got a jar of marbles. Look, I put them up on the mantle. Oh yeah, and that was it. That was it. So I don't think it registered <laughs> with him really. Um, he was taking a lot in, right? Oh, your husband loves, yes, Diane. Oh, I, I was so tickled when he, 
I, it was like a kid looking for approval from their dad is what it really was like because I was just like, do you like it? Like I show you guys, what do you think? I was really into his opinions and um, yeah, he, there was not one thing that he wouldn't have bought except that lid that we all love. I told him, well, you're nuts because it's one of our favorites. It's the one thing that most everybody liked uh, the most. The comments were on that lid. So he's like, eh, whatever. <laughs> so then I told him I paid $30 for it. He's like, oh, well then, whatever. It's fine. <laughs> he didn't care. I think he was thinking I paid 85 or something. Uh, what should we, I know, but Cynthia, the thing is, when Randy goes with me shopping, you don't need that. Like, we would take the kids to the fair, and of course, when you're at the fair, you want french fries, and then you want, you know, whatever, a hot dog on a stick or whatever the heck, you know, cotton candy and a snow cone, and he was more like, well, pick what you want, and that's what you're getting, and that's all. So we'd have to sneak to the fair the next day to get all the crap that we wanted they Kids. So that's how it is. When you're shopping with Randy, you don't need you don't need all that stuff. He's just a typical guy. You don't need it. And I'm like, yes, I do. And then I go back the next day and get it. It just saves me a lot of time to do it without him. But um, since he knows now that I'm selling stuff and that I'm shopping for you guys a lot, I think that makes him feel better about it. Um, for one thing, and for the other is just that we've been doing it so long now that we're starting to get better things and know more about what we have so that's fun and i think he sees the joy that i'm having with it and i think he's kind of you know a little fomo maybe you know he kind of wants a piece of that a little a little bit of fun and and excitement in the thrill of the hunt thing so yeah i think that's where we are so we'll see but yeah i i, I want him to go but yet i'm like i'm kind of scared because he he might kind of want to rush me you know julie will say okay we're slow shopping today well that means it's going to take us five hours to get through this one building because we're slow shopping we're looking at all of the little things that you guys love to buy for me all those little tags and the buttons and the little dogs <laughs> just the little things the, the spools and you know those are always the stuff tucked in the back and or in boxes or you got to dig for you know and he's not going to be down with that so um, you know, to get a chance to go antique shopping, I want to take full advantage of it. So there you go. That's how we are. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I think I already answered that about the marbles. Um, yes, my little dog. Well, they are dogs, not puppies, but you raised Yorkie. Oh, you oh my gosh, Cynthia. I want a Yorkie. That's exactly what I'm looking for. We, well, I don't want it to look like Lola though. That's what I had was a little Lola. I have been for three years researching the internet to try to find a reputable, I can't believe that. I'm so glad you said that. He wants a Yorkie again. I just don't want her to be like Lola. Cause I, she, she turned white, like gray, like gray color. And I just, you know how they all look the same sometimes. And I just, I just think I would be so sad, but I think a new one will take on its own personality. So I really wanted, I, I really wanted to totally not have a Lola, and I wanted to go for a, like a little Cavapoo, uh, like a curly one, but I'm worried it's gonna be too big. I, we like we like little Lola. We like taking her on our bike and, and everywhere we went and letting her sit on the little ledge in the truck. And you know, we, I, I like being able to take them everywhere. And if they get too big, I see Summer, my daughter, she has three, she has a, two golden, or she has two labradoodles, whatever they are, and a uh, golden retriever. And she's really limited. Um, she's really limited, so. Absolutely, Cynthia, message me. Let's talk about it. Uh, you can bring me a little kitten now, <laughs> Diane. Oh, I'm, I'm not so into cats. I had a cat, I've had always had a cat when the kids were here. And um, our last cat, Annie, she stayed forever and we even moved here and she stayed and run off and uh, but she was a look at me don't touch me and you know i would schlep drag her food home and feed her and clean out that freaking litter box i'd get it all done and she'd go right over there and like ha 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 and she'd go <laughs> get it and then she'd like jump on the back of my legs like she wasn't very nice to me and if i was outside gardening she'd lay there beside of me and like roll around in the grass and purr and all the sweet things you'd bend over to to pet her and she'd swat at you, like look at me but don't touch me. So I, I want, I want, I want to love them and I want them to love me back. So there you go. 
you're in charge of the finances because after you all have to pray. <laughs> Linda, you're funny. <laughs> I'll teach you all my tricks. <laughs> and you had stenciled hearts on my concrete walkway. <laughs> Don't forget who lives there. Oh, that's so funny. You sound just like me. Is it Mineral Spirits, Diane? I don't know why I was thinking. I'm thinking of um, Bin, when we use Bin, B-I-N. That was always what we would go to for like a smoker's house. If it was smoker, we use Bin and it seals all of that smell and all. Of, well, it tries to. Uh, bin is awful to work with. And it is, you have to clean that with um, uh, ammonia. And I was at the paint store just the other day and we were talking about shellac and because they didn't have any bin and I said something about that. And they said, well, that the bin is shellac. So that's why I said that. Uh, hey Lisa, hi. Uh, oh, and then Marlene got her package and Penny likes it. Uh, birds in the nest, oh yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Lori. What are you using? I am using um, Zinzer. Amber Bullseye Shellac. Zinzer Bullseye Shellac Amber. Right here. Amber. It just gives wood that really pretty golden sort of look. Um, yes, Peggy, thank you. Yes. You love the Lazy Susan Tambor. Me too. Thanks, Marlene. Uh, it is, it's shellac, yeah. Um, yes, I think it's a much richer look too. It's amazing how fast it you can sit your little dogs on it and take them for a ride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I probably will. Uh, just thank you guys. Think of the content I'll have when I get a puppy. It will happen. He's a couple of times said, you gotta have one, just go get it. Just go get it, I don't wanna talk about it anymore. Well, you can't do that with a puppy. You gotta, you gotta like sign up for it and get it when it's ready to come home. You don't go puppy shopping, you know? So. Yeah, I can't, it doesn't work that way. So when I get the green light to go get one, there isn't one out there to get. So, and then when they're it's like, oh, look, oh, look, honey. You know, I'll show them the picture and be like, no, we don't need a dog. <laughs> so then I got, then it's a whole, we got to go all the way back around. So I'm going to win. You know I'm going to win. He even says that. I know you'll win. <laughs> isn't that mean? <laughs> it is going to be an issue when we need to go somewhere, though, because who's going to watch it? But, I don't know, just watch the news. Oh, thank you, thank you, Esther. Oh, yes, I did get your order, and I pulled your, I pulled your letter for you. I must like weirdos, because I'm here, I was 16. <laughs> I know, Jackie. <laughs> does make me feel a little better. Uh, well, thank you, Tamara. <laughs> Weird, all weirdos, welcome. <laughs> yes, yes, I do sell the spools and the shoes when I can find them. Um, Paint with, yes, Diane, I think you're right. I, I just had a couple of people say, oh, that would have been nice if you wouldn't have shellacked it. And there's been some things where I've kind of thought, oh, I would love to have seen that if he didn't put that all over it. But I just, wow, what a difference. I should have laid him out and took a picture first. What a difference though, look at that. I love it, I love it. I don't shellac everything, but anything that's kind of dull like that, I will make it look like that. It just looks better to me. Uh, could you please list the name of what you are using for the shine? Yes. I'll hold it up if you guys want to screenshot it. Oh, it's backwards. You want me to? Oh, phooey. Hang on a minute. There you go. There you go. Now you can screenshot it if you want to. I got paint on it. Don't get me. Okay, everybody screenshot that. I wanted to put a link for you on Amazon, but I couldn't find it. So I didn't get to do that. Sorry. I did try. Oops. I did try. Oops. Jeez. Oh, hey, I threw all the comments. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, boy. No, I'm not. I. Oh, boy, I lost my place. <laughs> I was going to say I'm at the end. Oh, man. Okay, hang on. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, there had to be more comments than that. Uh, let's see, where were we? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm scroll I'm trying to find where I left off. Oh, there's the weirdos, okay. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, what are you using on the wood? Thank you, thanks Lisa and Esther. Okay, coming on late because my ceiling fan doesn't want to work. Our, our warm temperatures are on. 
they're all on their way next week. Yeah, you better get that fan fixed fast, Gail. Uh, don't forget it in the will. Okay, Tamara, I'll add that to it. Uh, yes, I gave it a drink, exactly. Um, yes, Patricia, I, I, I don't want it to be too shiny. I was kind of hoping it would soak in a little bit on that tray. I'll have to see how that is for the camera. Um, no gray for you either, huh? Uh, oh, thank you, Tambra. I'm excited to show you guys my what I came up with for my centerpiece. This, the, the pedestal, I don't love that there, but I can't figure out a place for it right now, and I need to just pack it up. But I love what I did with the silver trays. If we remember, I'll show you. Um, yeah, but that's why I don't use the dark wax. So love the bucket, love the shellac. Keep the feet. Yes, I think so too. Love the, love the label, but really love it. Oh, well, good. Uh, oh, good. Yes, gray just doesn't seem to go with the oak sort of antique things as well. Um, thank you. Although I have to say, I did a house for a lady, and she was all gray, and we brought in this like not well, kind of like a mustardy yellow. It was fantastic with the grays. So gray can go gold. It's got to be the right shade of it. Grays. There's so many grays. It's tricky. There's purple grays. There's green grays. There's blue grays, which I'm definitely not a blue gray. Me personally. I will love it for you, but I am not, it, it just doesn't work for me and my stuff. Um, yes, please link. Oh, what do you want to link for? <laughs> Who knows? Yes, like parachute material. Oh, for the hats. Hats, yes, I will. I will do that. Ah, uh, thanks, <laughs> thanks, Tamara. Covers your face, yes, covers my face. That's the whole idea, hide. Pull that baby down and hide. <laughs> it's a tie, okay, I wondered if it was supposed to be like something for my ponytail or I like the idea of hanging on to it though in the wind, so I really like that. I think if I keep this great big one, I think I'm gonna change the ribbon out though. It's um, it's a grow grain, it's a nice enough ribbon, it's grow grain, but I really I really kinda like that long one. And the bow, I don't know, it just leaves, a, it's, it's almost too stiffy, stiff, these, can you tell? Like I tweak everything I get, but yeah, I'm not, I. I'll probably leave this part. It's pro uh, yeah, it's tacked on, but I may do something better back here. We'll see. I do like the idea of pinning it up though. That was cute. I can't believe hats are not back in style. I know, Lisa. You're absolutely right. We're gonna. I'm gonna bring them back in style. Okay, I'll put a link after this is over. I'll put a link for both of the hats separately. So just scroll and find them in a little bit. I'll also put it. Um, Yes, yeah, Senorita. Oh, what does that say? I'll, I'll um, put it in the comments as well, so that way you can find it. Thank you. Um, you have a ton of. Ha I know, Gail. Uh, I'm sorry for you. Um, thank you. A black hat would draw the heat. Yes, you're right. You're right, Jackie. That is true. We don't need that. The wealthier beach people in New Jersey wear hats. We sold hundreds. Oh, really, Marilyn? Well, there you go. I'm like a wealthy beach person then. <laughs> <laughs> who will ever know the difference? Just don't, just, we just won't tell anybody the difference. Hey, Sherry. Uh, I will link it for sure. Uh, use an antique bra. I think that's a great idea. I think that was adorable. Looks like this got, oh, someone followed me on TikTok. Okay. I need one of those. Okay, you guys are liking the hats. Uh, do you think the big one's like too ridiculous though? I, I would only wear that big one antique shopping. Like wear the one I got yesterday, like day one, and then wear that one day two just to be fashion plate and all. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Jeannie. I haven't seen your order yet, but I, I, I pulled everybody's necklaces that ordered. And then as I was doing it, I laid them all out and then I took the time to go through and see what might not have been on there. And I found five or six necklaces that weren't on the website yet. So I posted a picture of them. So if they're, they're on there now. So if anybody wants whatever they were, um, Debbie, you can, but I would go to the website and do it before somebody else grabs it. By the time I finish reading these and get a minute to go in and, and do that and take it off, I'm afraid somebody might, uh, somebody else might buy it out from underneath us, and then I'll have to refund and do all that. Can you go to TammyLovesVintage.com and just pick it up? Uh, I have a shoe I want to show you. Yes, please. No metal. You know, we're getting ready to do a house, not this coming, oh, I hope. I hope this guy will let me show you his house that we're going to move into next week. It, it, from what I can see, it's going to be fantastic. It's like a big barn, 
and it's all they had all this custom cabinetry done in black and then the laundry room is all black custom cabinets and then they put this trim piece on every cabinet door i get I, there was like 60 cabinet doors. it's insane and they all are unfinished wood and the wife doesn't like it it was supposed to be gold she's got a gold sink and she's got a gold range hood fan thing i can't wait to see it anyway countertops aren't in i know that but um it looks freaking crazy awesome so uh, there's a local uh, designer here amber or ashley moyer is her name and she gave us the lead on the job so i was i was excited that we had time to take care of it for her but they want us to paint all that trim gold so that's our next week but the week after this uh, guy wants us to come and paint some ceilings and we had a water leak whatever in a couple of rooms so I'm gonna do that but uh, so I was in measuring and looking at everything and on the way back out in the bathroom there was this shelf and they had a woman's wooden shoe with a heel I have never seen one I wanted to say whoa <laughs> I could look at it but I don't want to be like, I shouldn't be probably looking around when I'm supposed to be looking at a ceiling, you know? I didn't want to be like nib nab, but I'm going to look at that shoe in two weeks. I'll, I might even, if he's, I don't know, I should sneak a picture. I'll probably ask him if I could take a picture and show you guys. It looked really cool. It was wood. I think, how many sho wooden shoes have I seen? But it had a heel on it. It was a ladies high heel wooden shoe mold like this, but it was a, a high heel. You guys probably have seen them. I'm living under a rock, but uh, you wouldn't have told him how much. Tambra, there was a day when I would, I had told him I got it for $25 and he'd have been mad. <laughs> so we've come a long way, baby. <laughs> uh, I think they have two hooks. One is for weight. Oh, let me read this. I think they have two hooks. Yes, they do. One is for the weight piece. The other is for the animal looks, kind of like what my papa used to weigh cotton. Yeah, there are two hooks, and we wondered what the two were for. That's so cool. Uh, are you just so, uh, Jackie? I I I had a lady message me last night. I don't remember who it could. I don't know who it was. One of you girls, and she wants ten of them. I can spare ten of them, but she said I want different sizes and I want all colors. I've had to buy a lot of bags of clay marbles to get three colorful ones. So I don't know if I'm gonna spare her. I told her I'd pull some, and the big ones, I only got two big ones in that whole big expensive jar. So I said, they're all gonna be the same size, I can tell you that, I and mean, they might be a little bit different. And I'll pull you some and you let me know if you want them, and that's what we're gonna do. So I'm, yeah, so I am doing a few for her. Uh, it is gross to eat animals that have been in small cages and horrible slaughtering in the little packages at the grocery store I don't hunt but I see their side yeah I mean totally if you know hunting just for fun and leave them lay there is not good but if you're you know I have friends that they that's how they survive all winter is on their deer meat so I get it I totally get it it's just the idea of it hang you know where it was it's all I'm sure it's cleaned up and fine I don't know um here mind you your dad. <laughs> yeah uh, wouldn't that circle be cool as a lazy, wouldn't that circle be cool as a lazy Susan? Jeannie, where have you been? Randy did it this morning. I bought it like this and he cut this out and stained it just with a junk piece of wood. I had bought the little lazy Susan ball bearing thing from Amazon knowing that I was trying to find something small that I could put something on to spin it like this and do a slow-mo recording for TikTok. And so yeah, I but I couldn't find the Lazy Susan that I wanted. And I knew I would find some cool piece of wood round that I could use and I found that yesterday. And so that, I was like, check that box. I may keep looking for something even bigger, like a bigger one. But um, yeah, that's so funny, Jeannie. We were on the same page. Uh, he should be happy that you were happy. Aw, he is mad. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm always happy. I just gotta keep him happy. 
Uh, I received a package today, the lace and the, oh, beautiful. And the little bowl went in your dough bowl. Oh, I'm so glad you liked it, Lori. Isn't it fun? Somebody texted me and said, I got my little, uh, my little box of treasures. And she says, that's what I'm going to call all my orders from you, little box of treasures. And I thought, I love that. Uh, when my friend comes from Florida, we shop all day. We justify that we played golf and had cocktails. Would have spent, uh, you're exactly right. And you would have nothing to show for it. Exactly. Exactly. You have a Morky. Oh, Marilyn. I follow a lady on Instagram with a little Morky. Her name is Daisy. She is adorable. That would be a great, when I say I don't want it to look like Lola, a Morky would be perfect because Randy wants a Yorkie. And that would be just enough that I would be sure it wouldn't be like Lola. You know, I know they're, every dog's going to be different. Even if they're sisters, they're completely different. I know. Your Morky was a rescue. Oh, how wonderful for you. Uh, Helen, I'm in Ohio, Zanesville, Ohio. You've had four dogs that have traveled overseas and back in the States. Oh my gosh, 11 week golden puppy. Oh, how sweet, how sweet. Oh, mineral spirits clean the brushes. Okay, I just pitch them because they're just these. I always use an old used up, you know, a chip brush anyway. So and I have a bunch of them from when we did classes here in town. So I, I have a bunch of yucky ones. Um, yeah. Or gasoline. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Diane. She likes shellac too. So there you go. Um, they made one out of it. Why she bought it. Mm, I forget what we're talking about there. Uh, you use young oil or a good wax like DIY. Okay, Linda. Yeah. Um, I've never heard of young oil. Um, if I use wax, I just still use my Country Chic paint because I've been a distributor for them since I opened my shop in 2013. And then um, uh, a Brie wax is a really good wax as well. Uh, okay, do you need to use the shellac in a ventilated area? Well, if you're going to do a whole dresser, yes, you, you would. But just these little pieces. I mean, I smelled it, but it, 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 it was fine. It just depends on how fussy you are, you know? I mean, there's people... Um, you know, you go to a store and, and no one has a mask on and then there's that one guy wearing a mask, right? So he would definitely want to be well ventilated. It just depends on where you fall on that scale. You know what I mean? <laughs> so uh, you have lots of metal trays just sitting in teapots. Oh, that's awesome. I went to a booth. Uh, can you show again? I don't know what you, I'm going to say it's this shellac. Oh, and I flipped my phone, but you can see Zinzer. Hold it up to a mirror. Shellac and amber. Um, uh, was it? Oh, it, this guy's booth was all galvanized pots and lids and buckets and, and the whole booth. And I thought that would be a really cool TikTok or something. Just all galvanized. It was cool. Ting oil. Yeah, I've heard of that too. I don't have these things, you guys. I'm using what I got. Just started following. Oh, hi, Patty. Well, <laughs> you're welcome. A lot of crap the way you learn, right? <laughs> oh, you like the cat? Well, thanks, Brenda. I don't always have time to do this. Um, it's gone already. Oh, Debbie. I, that's what I was worried. I, I didn't know. I, I've got a whole desk full of necklaces that are gone, so I'm sorry about that. It has a heel, Tamara. Oh, my gosh. It's not. I don't remember her. I just got a glimpse of it. And that was a month ago that I was there, and I still remember it. So, yes, they are, Bev. Here, here. But what would you do without them, right? They say the same thing about us. So, in the South, we eat it all. You don't. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Oh, I know what you mean. We would go, I got some friends, we would go and make now is this turtle or is <laughs> but you say it's a hot dog, but is it really a hot dog? Like, what is it? You know, you're ready. <laughs> and they're like, I wouldn't do that to you. And you say, I wonder. You just don't know. I uh, can't wait for your package. Oh, it'll be there soon. Should have paid sooner. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. I think there's three or four of you I was still waiting on, which is unusual. Oh, a Maltese and a Yorkie. That's almost a Morkie. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. The Maltese are adorable, too. Uh, you have a five. At, oh, at two and their mother. Nothing alike. You see, that's the thing. They won't be the same, I know. And the minute I get her, and, and I can't wait until... I do get her and I find her because you guys are going to help me name her. We're going to have a big thing. Like, I like the name Vivian. <laughs> Isn't that funny for a little, little dog? Because you know she'll be a princess with her hair all dudeed up with a bow and all that, you know? So, yeah, Vivian. Mm -hmm. I kind of like Viv. 
Although I like the name Dory from the um, Ellen DeGeneres uh, from Nemo. I've always loved the little name Dory and I always thought, oh, if I get another dog, I'm going to name her Dory. Um, I love that too. I think that's going to be the hardest part is picking the name. I've had so long to think about a name. I have like 50,000 names. I watched, um, what was that show called? What was the show called from England? It started with an H. Halifax. It's a Halifax. Something like that. And her name, the, the main lady's name was Cecilia. I like that too. Because they called her Cece. So Randy would go for Cece, I think. And they called her Celia and Cece and Cecilia. I like that. Every dog I've ever had had like 20 names, you know, like their actual name. And then the kids all nickname. And then I call her, you know, pumpkin pie or whatever. You know, <laughs> they always have all these names. So, right. So, yeah, uh, I'm trying to think of other names I had. I, I did like, I did like Cece and Cecilia and that. So, of course, you know, there's always the, the very pretty names like Claire. <laughs> You know, I like that too. <laughs> so it's gonna be Randy will have to narrow it down. But when we did Lola, he wasn't he wasn't digging any of my names. And then we had Lola and um I kind of started singing that song about Lola and uh that's what sold it when I played it. I played the Lola, which is all about a, a what a man being a girl or something. <laughs> But he liked it. So that's how I got to neighbor because he liked the song. So there's a Cecilia song. So we'll see if that flies. I don't know. I don't know. It's funny. That's going to be, that'll be, depends. If I can get it for my birthday, then I can name it anything I want probably. But I wouldn't name it anything he hated. Okay, you guys. I got to go. I'm just sitting here. I'm rambling. It's been fun. It's been fun visiting, getting to know you and you guys get to know me and um, yeah. Oh, so I wanted to show you this real quick. Hang on, I got you plugged in here. Hang on, I wanna show you my, uh-oh, oh, whoops. Okay, hang on. So here's what I did. I wanted to show I wanted to remember this. So I put an oval tray on a round table and I don't mind it. I wasn't sure how I'd feel about it, but I don't mind it. And then I found this little tray, if you guys remember, um, and I loved it. And I had bought it to resell, but I really like it. So I took my napkins and laid them there. And I just overlaid one foot over top of that. And I and that's how I had it. But then I didn't have anywhere to put this pedestal. It always sits on that table. But I kind of liked it like that, except I'm used to such height. I'm used to like this all being full of something. Because I always have a paint bucket or something on that pedestal. So I brought the pedestal back over and I added the feathered eggs that we made in our group. Oh, speaking of our group, I haven't seen Dolores. Dolores Lopez just joined my group today. I am so flipping excited. She's going to love it in there. I wish she was here to tell her welcome and thank you so much for finally, finally joining. She's going to wonder what took her so long. <laughs> but anyway, I know this is off. And I looked yesterday for something that would be silver that might, you know, fit the bill for that. But I freaking love this tractor disc spool pedestal thing I made. So I don't know. I don't know. For now, it's going to stay. I brought the feathered eggs up and that kind of makes it work. I added the cream colored doily that kind of pulls all of the creams from the book collage and all of that. So I don't know. I think it's gonna work. Um, it's 15 bucks a month. 15 bucks a month. That's not bad. You get a lot of lot of stuff. And here's the fern and Randy's chopper for anyone that was curious. He says the fern takes away from the chopper. What do you think? <laughs> Everybody vote. Fern, no fern. <laughs> here's no fern. It's just, it's just too cold. It's cold and boring and I don't know. Yes, I did, I cleaned it, but it doesn't come very clean, honestly. I, I just, well, look, maybe I didn't clean it. I cleaned under there, <laughs> I gotta go out. Thanks for calling me out on that. <laughs> Looks like that might help a little bit. Maybe I'll shove it over to the side. I don't know, I, just, I really liked it how I had it. 
but it's it's a cool chopper. I mean, you know, look, it does all this stuff when all those everything. This is going this way, that's going this way, and this is going up and down in here. See, and then as this goes up and down, this thing spins. Watch the seam right here. See, that thing spins. So it is a freaking really cool piece. And I love the wood handle. I never was crazy about the green base, but that's okay. I, maybe I should shellack it when he's not looking. So there, I stick a fern in it, and I think it's the coolest container now. But he says it's killing his, it's, oh, it is a TikTok. <laughs> no fern, okay. Well, he'll be happy to see that. You like the fern. <laughs> I'll have to read all of these. Tammy, read. Oh, wait. I'm, no fern. I'm with Randy on this one. Put the paint bucket beside it and the fern in the paint bucket. There you go. <laughs> That's an idea. I don't know. I just like the fern in it. I don't know. Maybe I'll, I don't know. I definitely got to clean it. I'm going to go do that right now. So, whoops. Whoops. I bumped, bumped the wrong button. I'm going to go do that right now so that I don't forget. I did. I literally cleaned underneath the thing, but I didn't clean the thing. So. <laughs> Whoops, I'm gonna do that again. So, cause that's the second time I've been called out on my dirt on that thing. So I'm gonna clean it <laughs> and then that way, if I, if I show it to you again in the near future, it will be clean. That'll help, right? <laughs> so, okay, you guys, keep the fern. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I'll let you see this, that we're, we got mixed emotions about the fern. I'm not bringing up the fern, first of all, unless he does. Yeah. Maybe I'll say I'll take the fern out if you get me a puppy. Oh, it might be worth it then, right? Here's my marbles. You want to see? I stuck them right there. Right there. I'm really liking my mantle for spring. I'm really liking it. There's my paint bucket with my little button chain or my button garland. And then my, my books and the box of punches. And then my little, I almost got rid of these, but I can't. I just, you know, I bought this because it's an R and I worked it in one of our things and I love the morning pen. It's just beautiful. You think how someone was so sad and I, I don't know, I just love it. My little German drawer, and my little Hobby Lobby <laughs> vase. <laughs> and then there, I just tuck the marbles back in there and they're so happy sitting there. There's my little, uh, my other little collage that goes with the first one and then all that black with the books. It just works. It just works. And then there's my, my paint sign. I don't know. It just works for me. There you go, guys. So there you go. Marbles look beautiful. Randy's chopper full of marbles. Oh, that's an idea. <laughs> That's an idea too. Oh, you guys are great. How fun. What a fun day this has been. What a fun day this has been. I got to share my optical lenses. I got to give you guys a super great sale on those necklaces. It kind of makes me sad though. I've never, I've never budged on the $49.99 price on those necklaces. But I did for you guys today. It's been a great day. I'm glad you like the hats. I'm gonna go dust this and I'm gonna link the hats. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put this hat on my head. I'm gonna dust that and then I'll remember. <laughs> I'll remember to like the hat. That's how I remember, okay? ADD or ADHD or whatever it is they call it. Yeah, I might have that. <laughs> See you later, bye.